We gotta find Well, good evening, chat. Hopefully this is working. I have no idea if it is. It's my first time streaming on the Chinese Lemon website. Hopefully the Bitcoin miners aren't melting your fucking computers, but welcome to the new age. The brave new age. Where you have to go to DLive to be able to talk about stuff. I'm probably going to be uploading on BitChute too. Oh boy. Fun times ahead. Hey, Chad, can you give me some sign of life here so I know that this is actually coming through and everything hasn't gone completely to shit? I followed their little guide. They have a little guide on how to stream over here, but they have no information on the back end to tell you if your stupid fucking stream is working. So I don't know. I see a lot of jumping, uh, dancing jellos and puddings. That's a good sign. Something must be working. A okay? We're a okay? All right. Oh boy. Oh, I can get rid of the scrolling text now, can't I? Oh, what a uh, interesting couple of days it's been. We've got a little bit of a tiff going on between Reset Era and NeoGAF. I hope you've got a lot of time because we're going to be sitting on our asses and being real lazy and going over a whole fuck ton of stuff. I think it's going to be fun. Just turn this off for a moment. There we go. Now, oh, I hope I set this up properly. Yes, I did. Now, before we get into this, I want you to keep one thing in mind. One thing as you're hearing everything we're going to talk about, all the people involved, the timeline, all of it. Keep this one singular thing in mind. This is a post that showed up on Reset Era, a web forum known for going after game developers and really anyone that doesn't toe the line of progressive, politically correct viewpoints. You've probably seen them around. They like to harangue anybody that doesn't bend a knee and do what they want. 
and this was one such post in relation to THQ. And I, I think it's interesting. So let's take a quick look. We need to make sure THQ becomes synonymous with pedophilia. Every article that promotes their game should be flooded with comments about THQ Nordic's endorsement of child pornography. Anytime they're mentioned by one of their business partners on Twitter and the like, do the same. Taint their brand until something is done. Now that user wasn't banned. They didn't get a timeout or a warning. Nobody said, hey, that's fucking insane. They had a bunch of dorks saying, you have my sword. You have my axe to go into battle. That's the mentality you're dealing with when you're looking at Reset Era. They, they want to smear an entire company as being pedophiles because the company talked to a community they didn't happen to like. So you should get an ironic sense of enjoyment out of what we're going to be looking at as we go over the last two days of Reset Era and NeoGAF. I mean, fuck, I should probably give a little bit of a background before we dive deep into it. Our story begins not so long ago on a, a little video game forum called NeoGAF, run by a certain gentleman named Evilor. Now, he had, uh, <laughs> he had some encounters with women that people in their community deemed problematic. Oh, ooh, it's icky. It's a big yikes for me. Lots of, lots of people very upset with what Evilor did. Now, you might be thinking, well, he must have done something terrible. Uh, maybe. <laughs> it's debatable. But you see, when NeoGAF started to get popular, it attracted a lot of industry insiders. And it attracted a lot of people that were very enthusiastic about the hobby of video games. Now, as the site grew, that was fine. People interacted. They talked about video games and things within the industry. Occasionally some off-topic stuff, but for a while it was fine. But slowly, like a little yeast infection in the vagina of this website, something dank and nasty started to grow an outraged subsection. They like to get offended about anything and demanded people be banned for stepping out of line. Does this sound familiar to you? Well, Evilor had a choice. He could have stomped it out there, but that was too difficult. He didn't want to do it. And so he stayed quiet for too long. And this little infection became systemic to the point where you couldn't really enjoy yourself on NeoGAF. If you stepped out of line, you were banned. You were gone. Get the fuck out of here. Really ruined the website. And then we come to the event where some previous posts and conversations and actions regarding women came up. And now it was the administrator's turn to bend over and get spanked. He didn't like it very much. He didn't like the outrage mob that he had let run loose on his website, spanking his ass, especially in front of his users. So he started banning people kicking them out. Get the fuck out of here. No more threads for you. Well, that was the impetus. And that's what led the, uh, the brave individuals to walk across that digital desert for 40 days until they reached the haven that was Reset Era. So you need to keep in mind that these two websites have a history together. <laughs> and the people that set up Reset Era really are the worst possible posters from NeoGAF. The most outrage sensitive people the most demanding posters. Those are the ones that went on this little exodus to a brand new website. I mean, one such person's, you're reading their post on screen. They are autistic little shits, aren't they? So Reset Air is going to be this progressive bastion of video gaming. They're not going to fall for the same mistakes that NeoGAF did. That is until they had their own little uh-oh moment, a little bit of an oopsie, a little bit of a problem arose. When a user showed up on NeoGAF, of all places, <laughs> and uh, decided to talk about what they deemed a pedophile problem within the Reset Era community. And we're going to be going over that thread and just talking and looking at the events surrounding it. A lot of really interesting shit going on. Lots of behind the, th <laughs> behind the scenes things. In fact, I have, a, I have a little video that I think sums up what happens if you go on to Reset Era. Right now, if you were to have an account and go on to Reset Era and say, God, guys, maybe we should talk about all the fucking pedophile stuff. Uh, let, me let me show you what happens when you step out of line. <laughs> when you step out of line. Uh, you, you should probably salute this brave soul.
love to do that. Anytime you say something naughty, anytime you say something that goes against the collective, they're very quick to pull the rug out from under you. Get the fuck off my website. They don't like that very much. Poor, poor Mr. Howard's a goner. He's never coming back, folks. He's been big banned right off that website. So dissent is not welcome. If you, uh, if you have some issues, you, you're going to need to get the fuck out of town. Okay, let me, let me pull up the thread that started this wonderful implosion of autism. And we're going to go through it. And then you're going to see some very bizarre reactions. I don't know. There's a lot of smoke on this one. And I think you're going to come to that same conclusion as we look over the reaction of the user base of Reset Era and the people involved directly with this particular set of events. I would like to say ahead of time before we look at the OP over on NeoGAF that the poster had hosted their images up on Imgur. Uh, these are Discord leaks from a Reset Era group. Uh, what do you know? Super surprising. I, I, none of you would probably have ever have guessed this, but immediately, I'd say within a few hours of them having posted all of these Discord leaks up on Imgur, the account was flagged down and all the pictures were removed. Now, I, I believe they're rehosting them now. There are archives of them, so they're not deleted for good. But just keep that in mind that somebody went through the trouble of trying to remove the pictures. Didn't want them out there. So I present to you Reset Era and the pedo problem. Oh, and I should probably address this too before I jump into this. Because I need my fucking money. <laughs> I don't know how Chinese lemons work. I, okay, I, I'll be honest with you. I don't know how Chinese lemons works on this fucking place. And I don't want to have some guy in Shanghai using my social security number to order prostitutes in the future. Uh, so I went through the trouble of trying to find a way to make donations on this fucking site work. Uh, they should they should be there. There you go. I don't know if I set either of these up right. I don't really fucking care, to be honest. But uh, it's probably not going to... I'll read them if they come through. <laughs> I'll try my best. Uh, the Streamlabs donation link is in the description under the stream. And there's a PayPal one, too. Uh, that's That's my best effort. Otherwise, I'm going to be sucking on Chinese lemons for the next fucking week. <clears throat> All right, let's get into <laughs> let's get into reset era and the pedo problem. Originally posted by Celine D. Skies, who's now a gold member over at Neogaf. I'm sure they fucking are. <laughs> I'm sure they fucking are. All right, I'm gonna have to go to screen capture desktop for this. Uh, grab yourself a drink. We're gonna be reading through quite a lot of this shit and then tracking down the reactions. Uh, now, uh, the other weird thing about this. Well, you know, I don't even want to spoil it. I'm going to I'm gonna wait till we get to it before I actually fucking talk about it. Uh, I think this is what I want. Oh, boy. I hope I don't fuck this one up. There we go. That's what I wanted. Uh, here's our thread. Reset Era and the pedo problem. Already has 1,300 responses. By the way, uh, Reset Era didn't want to address this. Yesterday, this thread had maybe twelve to 13,000 views on it. Approaching 100,000 now. Didn't really work out well for you, did it, cat ladies? Trying to sweep that one under the rug. Not the smartest fucking plan in the universe. I'm just going to have to be honest with you. So here we go. Here's the OP. Reset Era is trying hard to get these screen caps down. Here's an archive with everything until then. Archive with all the screen captures. They backed them up. Everybody has backed all this shit up. Uh, they're just explaining they're not. Uh, English is not their first language. But here we go. Some little context. I won't disclose my real name, but I was a Reset Era member, known by the pseudo Celine D. Skies. I won't lie, at first Reset Era was cool. I was mostly safe for a young woman who liked video games. I even intended to be a moderator at some point. That was before I discovered Reset Era was full of disturbed and dangerous people. You don't say, really? I never could have guessed what happens when you take a bunch of 30 and 40 year old cat ladies and put them into a confined space. Dangerous, you say. Disturbed individuals, are they? Some weeks after I subscribed to the forum, I was invited to a super secret community related to Reset Era. I was invited by a member named Lord Kano. After a quick exchange through Reset Era's private messages, I became somewhat casual with Serium, Reset Era's owner. Even if I don't remember exactly when or how, let's say we use this to discuss together for a couple of months. The super secretive community was a Discord server. The Discord server was basically the back room of Reset Era, or a kind of Reset Era's boys club. A lot of the most active and prominent Reset Era members 
were and still are partaking in it. In this Discord server, you could find people like uh, Zuj, Huge X, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to call him Bing Bong. You could find Bing Bong, one of Reset Era's most prominent admins, who's very, very active in it. He probably has more than 2,000 messages in this server and is online most of the time. Emily Rogers, who was one of Reset Era's most famous admins at some point. Uh, Matt something or other, an employee of NPD and one of Reset Era's VIP members. Again, a very active member of this server. Jaw Muncher, one of Reset Era's oldest moderators, and many more. They begin to post... This is another thing, too. I've seen some other fuckers on Reset Era uh, repeatedly try to say, oh, it's... Uh, one, this isn't associated with the website. Two, nobody in the power structure is on the server. Well, the OP obviously is disagreeing with that. I mean, what do we have here? Not just prominent members, but admins and mods. That's what they're alleging. I don't know. I don't use the fucking website, thank God. I have no interest in going on to Reset Era. But I do know a couple of those names do get around quite a bit with industry insider information and analysis. And I know they're given a bit of a red carpet treatment. So it wouldn't surprise me mixed in amongst them that you're going to find some fucking moderators. But here they are trying to prove that they're in the Discord. Uh, showing all that. Showing the people in the Discord. I believe this is all in <laughs> disgusting French. I don't know. But it starts to get good. Uh, again, they're just showing the individuals that they're finding in the Discord server. But here we go. I'm only listing those above-mentioned people, so you know that this is, in fact, their Discord server and wasn't some random Discord. It's important to be precise to the people I mentioned just above. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's important to be precise that the people I mentioned just above aren't the pedo-minded people I'll talk about. However, I'm still wondering if most of them did ignore what happened under their noses or not. I'm sure some of them knew, but for the rest, that's up to them to clarify. Still, I would find weird that among all of these people, I was the only one aware of these discussions on the server, despite being there for only a few weeks. There were also some of the most uh, active Reset Era members. And again, I, I suppose, if you're familiar with their forum, you could verify this. Uh, Cadence of Vina, Kano, Heartskips, Elaz. So I'm guessing these are the active members. So they're, they're saying this, this is the hip shit for Reset Era members. This is where all the power players gather together to talk about whatever it is PC-minded individuals discuss before they try to destroy developers and publishers. To give more context, the process for subscribing to this Discord server was quite locked and intricate. You had to be invited, then validated by mods and admins, wait for some time, and then there was another process to be able to browse the server. I don't remember the whole process exactly, but I remember it was a pain in the ass. Pretty suspect for a simple Nintendo Discord, right? Keep reading and you'll find out why. To make a long story short, I quickly realized there was something weird on this server, and someone told me casually that pedo discussions... How do you bring that up casually? Someone told me casually that pedo discussions were rampant on the server. He told me... <laughs> he told it to me like I wouldn't care. Problem was, I did care. I decided to dig a little, and in my research, I typed three common keywords into the search bar within the Discord server. Underage, pedo, and 16 years old. At the time, uh, <laughs> at the time to type some others, but with those three keywords only, I found many, or, uh, God, you can tell they're not uh, English speaker, primarily. I found many proofs of the pedophilic tendencies, or pedo-apologist tendencies, of a group of persons among the most active in this server. Now, I think it's take a small little break from, from reading this particularly to talk about one thing. This web forum and its user base are notorious, fucking notorious, for going after developers and publishers, for going after different communities and gamers in general. Talking about, I mean, you can look at the background image I have up there. This is the ridiculous shit that you encounter when you go to Reset Era. Look at these user bans. Downplaying transphobia. Community hive mind trolling, inflammatory drive-by, <laughs> trolling a sensitive thread with a prior history of infractions. They are so up their own ass about wanting to have the moral high ground and be virtuous. And they will attack anyone and any business and any community that they perceive as stepping out of the line from being politically correct or progressive. 
they have that reputation, they engage in that behavior. So here's a user that pops up all of a sudden, and they say, hey, guess what? You know all those people that are telling you that you're a bunch of sexist, racist bigots? Turns out they got a Discord server where they like to talk about lolly and pedo shit and age of consent. And everybody kind of knows about it. And all the power users from this uptight web forum hang out there. All the people that would publicly post and say that you're a, a monster because you didn't use a proper pronoun are hanging out in this fucking Discord server talking about, you know, what? so what's it's not a big deal. You want to fuck a 15-year-old? Yeah, that's what they're doing when they're not publicly posting about you and your taste in video games and different developers and publishers, they're hanging out over here saying this shit. Really, really gets a noggin jog and really makes you think, doesn't it? A little bit of a, a two-faced kind of thing going on. A little bit of a, how, how would you say it? A public and a private position? And also, I, again, I, I just want to point this out because it'll be important later on, that this person, when they talked about getting into this... Uh, Discord server, and the person that introduced them, Lord Kano, at the same time that they're getting into this private Discord, at the same time they're talking to Kano and all these other people, they're talking to the owner of Reset Era, Sarium. So, you know, it, it's, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. We'll see where it goes. Maybe it's all bullshit. Maybe not. It's going to be funny either way, I have a feeling. <laughs> Especially when you see the fucking reactions of damage control. Oh, very good. All right, let me let me get us back to where we were here. I'm trying to work it, chat. You gotta you gotta have to give me a minute. I've got YouTube on the brain. I'm used to doing it through that. So, all right, here we are. I take you now. Oh, yeah, again, remember this. Remember this fucking statement going forward. If you start to feel any sympathy for any of these people involved, if you start to think, well, shit, maybe this feels like a bit of a witch hunt. Or shit, maybe it's a genuine misunderstanding. Or shit, maybe they're talking about something else. Read that fucking comment on their fucking forum. Remember that. They wanted to destroy a company by accusing them of being cool with pedophilia. Because they talked to some, uh, fucking 8chan. Alright, so let's uh, let's go take a look and see where this leads us. Uh, there we go. So they start to go over the, the different users. Uh, different people that are within the, the Discord. Also uh, taking a look at you know who they are in the Discord and who they are on the forum, matching up the usernames. So here you have one called Hammerdin, uh, and they're saying it's the same pseudonym, the same username on Reset Era. And they're talking about ambiguous. Uh, they're talking about how ambiguous the uh, subject of age is, or how it's subjective. And the issue of ambiguous age is something that can vary by the eye of the beholder. <laughs> but it's hey man hey listen listen buddy i get it you're upset at me because i'm dating your fifth grade daughter but listen in my eyes she's a mature lady all right it's really it's in the eye of the beholder and i think you just you need to relax a little bit okay stop being such a fucking stop being such a bigot it's 2019 she could she could consent now uh you know why don't you just relax here I'm going to take her in my van. <laughs> we'll go get you some uh, McDonald's or something after I bring her by the candy store. That's where I promised to take her on our third date. It's, it's our third date, by the way. Eye of the beholder. Hammerton, telling how a 16-year-old could look like J or J Lo, Jennifer Lopez, a common pedophilic rhetoric, but she was looking like an adult. Uh, again, they're, they're going, Hammerton again, referring 32-year-olds preying on minors as players and normalizing it. Let's imagine this. If you're a 16-year-old player, having the hots for a fictional 16-year-old character isn't weird. If you're 32 years old, the same cannot be said. The pedo talk is genuinely assuming the player is of a certain identity. And then from a another user they've highlighted for some reason, Lonely One, I think that if you have pedophile tendencies, you have them. They can't be promoted just like an argument that sexual identity is not a choice. You really can't have it both ways, but this kind of argument are very anti-PC. So you can't make them openly. Hey, listen, guys. We need to be fucking progressive in our secret Reset Era Discord chat. <laughs> All right? Like, I'm trying to date fifth graders over here, and you guys are coming down on me about it. It's making me really upset. It's kind of anti-PC. All right? You need to calm the fuck down. You can also see Lonely One, same pseudo, again, same username on Reset Era, telling us pedophile jacking off to drawing of underage persons is fine. 
I, I, okay. Lonely one. Pedophiles who have acted on their desires deserve jail. Nothing less. Pedophiles jacking it to drawings? Yes. You don't have to be their friend. Seat at the same tables. And please, keep kids away from them. But I would be... But I would be led... <laughs> but I would let them be. God, does anybody on this fucking forum speak English properly? Lonely one telling us how he will never say what he really thinks about pedos on Reset Era in front of many of the Reset Era members and the admin of this Discord server... Everything is fine. I th okay. I know it's dangerous. I'm not a red pillar anti JW. I don't know what JW stands for. A uh, gator or anything like that, by the way. And I would never say that on era. Because no one can say there isn't real research on this and it's hard to do. If pedophilia is some kind of sexual spectrum thing or some kind of illness. But mainstream opinion is the latter. And people who are LGBT do not like the comp or the comparison because of the stigma attached to pedophilia and the history of equating LGBT to sexual deviance. <laughs> it's hard to talk about pedophilia because it's such a heinous crime when it happens in real life. It throws rational discussions entirely out. <laughs> That's I'm just like a side thing. Let me table this for a second. That's really those two sentences together. That's really something. God, you know, it's really hard to talk about this whole pedophile thing. Because, you know, they brutalize the kids, but you just can't have a rational discussion about it. <laughs> At least, you know, you know, you just want to have a rational, logical, fedora-tipping, big-boy-brained, uh, galaxy-thinking discussion about baby-fucking, and people suddenly get really upset about it. I don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird, Hammerton. I wonder why that is. In the two following screen caps, you can see two Reset Era members, uh, Castian Scam and Lama, or Lama Waifu joking about craving for minors and risking jail for it. Uh, I, I guess they're giving us age. Are two underage girls from Love Plus, a Japanese dating game? Oh boy, Love Plus. You know, actually, I, I'm going to call bullshit here for a second because I just thought of something. Let me find this for... Uh, give me one second, chat. Give, uh, give, give the old man one second here. Let me see if I can find what I'm looking for. <laughs> they're talking about how it's so... It's so hard to have a rational discussion about child fucking in public. Um, hmm. Okay, here we go. I know I'd find it if I look for it. Uh, let me get rid of that. I'm going to pop this up on screen. This, by the way, is from Reset Era itself, the website. <laughs> when they're talking about the difficulties of broaching this subject. Okay, I think this should pull it up. I'll have to check the stream just to make sure it shows up fully. One second here. There we go. Uh, this this was from a fucking Reset Era thread. Okay, uh, just compare this. I, my mind hurts from looking at this. Look at all these ban notifications. Drive-by fucking trolling. Downplaying transphobia. Drive-by fucking uh, uh, victim blaming. All, all of that shit. You could get banned for fucking everything. You sneeze the wrong way and they'll ban you. But you go have a discussion about child fucking. <laughs> this is what you get. The user was warned for this post for defending pedophilia and eubophilia. This post only received a warning due to perceived differences between the user's native language and English. <laughs> what, is, what does that even mean? They, they typed it in English. The fucking thread was in English. <laughs> hey, hey, hey now. Okay. We got some rules around here. You violate those rules, you're, you're out the door. All right, I don't want you use those proper pronouns. Oh, you want to have a discussion about baby fucking? Here, hand me your wrist. There, I, there you go. I slapped it. Don't do that. You get a warning. <laughs> you go sit over there for a moment and think about what you've done. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm buying it. Their description that uh, you can't uh, talk about this publicly on their fucking form. Apparently you can. With no consequences. Okay. Let me, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue with this in one second here. I'm just, I'm a little nervous that the stream is not working right, so I want to be able to check chat to make sure it's actually fucking going through. A lot, a lot of people saying it depends on the child. How dare you? How dare you? We won't have that talk over the, over here. I'm going to have to give you a warning. Because, you know, I, I believe that you, you're not a native uh, English speaker, so I'm going to let you go with it. It's just a warning this time, guys. Don't be, don't be bringing that milkshake logic over here. All right, I think everything's good. All right, everything's good. All right, so far, so good. It, apparently, this site streams better than it did before. 
I haven't had any issues just yet, so we'll see how it goes going forward. Uh, are you enjoying the return of the fucking jellos or whatever the fuck they are? Hopefully that works out well. Okay, let me just make sure all this shit's working properly. Oh, oh, I got some super chats. Let me be a whore for a minute and read them. Let me earn my shekels. Uh, from Hungry Hungry One, I want white cock. Oh, <laughs> Good for you. From Caleb Lambright, glad you're back, nigger nerd. Let's drink and laugh at pedos. Tell chat to spam nigger nerds rise up from Caleb Lee Lambry. Or Lambright, P.S. You're late. Fuck you, Jim. Uh, from Fafner, apparently my message here. Well, your message is there. Colonel J, do you think some reset era mods and admins will go rogue and dox the pedos users eventually? You essentially have to dox yourself to make an account there, after all. I don't. You, I, I No, I don't. And you'll see why I don't think something like that's going to happen. Because this is just the beginning. God, this is going to be a, a bit of a long stream. So we're just starting to get into it. Uh, but no, I do not believe they're going to do that. From Orange Picos? I think I said that right. I don't know. I'm looking at a separate screen. And so it's even smaller. Hey, Jim, check out the latest screenshot. Here's some uh, super berries on me. I'll take a look in a moment. From Guntmaster187. Will you ever return to the Gunt retort? Ralph is drinking himself to death because you won't go on a show anymore. TT, gunt, 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 gunt. Uh, no, I don't <laughs> I don't have any plans of going on uh, the kill stream. Is it so called the kill stream? I, I don't I, I don't have any plans on doing that. I think the last stream I did with somebody was uh, Oh shit, what was it? It was Nick Ricada's one of his live streams. And I haven't uh, I haven't done any others. I hear Gator took over, and apparently Gator's killing it. Had a big audience when he was doing it. Uh, was it yesterday or the day before? So, uh, good on him. I don't know if they'll, they'll have to rename it to the Gator Retort. I think is what we're going to have to do going forward. From Bitwave, come on, Jim. This website is just pathetic. Come to Bitwave TV for ignoble. Which, given the track record of this fucking forum, yeah. If you were to talk about this shit anywhere else, I don't know what the reaction would be. But on this particular forum, you'd expect there would be a reaction. But you'll find out there was none. So let's continue onward. Okay, to be continued. They keep going. Uh, this is apparently a user named Nemesis from Reset Era telling how he's willing to sacrifice himself to tell us Lolitas aren't underage. Hey, every time I... <laughs> hey, every time I get banned, I had an idea that I would get at least a warning, so I know when I write things it will fuck me. Ha 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 ha. The, <laughs> the only thing I want to correct, uh, that people are putting uh, Lolo equals underage. If someone do that to me, I won't go there next week, sad face. A response from Elaz. Seriously, don't die on the lolly doesn't equal underage battle. That's an instant ban. More instant than a lot of things. This same nemesis bragging about having graphic depictions of underage kids having sex and going below 18 but above 12. Because he has some kind of limit to his pedo tendencies. <laughs> That's a bit of a bombshell. Let's see what they said. Uh, what obvious reasons, LOL. And I have here Pum Pum and Hikaru Namachi, which came to Brazil. Apparently a South American. Uh, what obvious reasons, lol. Oh, no, that's him. Uh, LOL again. Oh. And to be honest, the majority of the works that have sex and I have read are with teenagers in the story. So yeah, LOL. Underage, I'm going below 18. Going from 12 to above, of course. But those works that I own are sold by publishers from here. So it's not like I bought anything illegal. Or something, lol. So I never have to worry about any of it. In the following screen caps, you can see Kano, Lord Kano on Reset Era, GG2XAC, Caviar, and Eloz. Again, all the same usernames on Reset Era discussing about this thread. And the particular thread they're linking to is Gamer Arrested After Rape Overheard During Online Grand Theft Auto Session. Uh, caviar, thread already has dumbass replies. Fucking pedophile. Guy rapes someone and the thing they focus on is the two to three year age difference. Really? Why do they call an 18 year old a man? <laughs> age is just a number, bro. Kato about how Reset Era and the moderation team know jack shit about pedos. Uh, why do they call... Okay, they're discussing that, apparently. The famous pedo rhetoric by Caviar. 18 year olds are old enough to have sex with underage people all the time. Adults are no different. I, I think you're getting the point. They're dropping a lot of this shit. Uh, them searching for age of consent in the U.S. state... <laughs> this is where it gets a little interesting. Again, 
video game Discord for the most progressive PC fucking forum on the internet. <laughs> and they're together in the general chat searching state by state for the age of consent in every U.S. state just to make sure. <laughs> they're pulling up diagrams and shit. <laughs> oh, recent era. Kano informing his little friend that age of consent in Europe is 16. Uh, only to be answered by Luigi Blood that, yeah, he loves this. Apparently, Luigi Blood really loves the idea of uh, banging 16-year-olds. Good to know. Good to, <laughs> good to know. So this was their initial drop. This is what they, they brought to NeoGAF. Now, it's it's weird. It's, it's not, Like, when you look at it, if this was any other community, people really wouldn't give a fuck. But given what community this is and their behavior towards everybody on the fucking internet and how they interact with publishers and developers, again, uh, it's, it's, it's a bit of uh, schadenfreude, a little bit of uh, delicious irony going on here that so many progressive, upright, moral, virtuous people are hanging out in a sales chat. <laughs> That's uh, what is a general chat under sales, hanging out there, going state by state, looking for how young you can go uh, if you want to fuck somebody. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So... Our user, uh, let me make sure I get their name right again, uh, Selena Disguise, uh, finds this to be an issue. They're upset by it. Uh, so they find, you know, they, they start searching through all this shit. They find more stuff uh, talking about what ages they'll go to, uh, things like that. They do drop this before before we get in. Oh, actually, it leads right into the discussion with the owner. So let's pull this up. Pull this down. There we go. Okay. This is probably one of the more interesting things. This one right here. I didn't have time to browse their entire Discord, but discussions about the normalization of pedophilia were rampant. It was basically everywhere in the Discord. Fuck, someone calling himself Lonely One and speaking about how pedophilia tendencies are normal and age is just a number screams pedo to me. You have another one who calls 32-year-olds uh, adults preying on minors players. What the fuck? That's pedophile vocabulary, and why are those discussions so common on Reset Era's Discord server? So they're they're claiming, uh, their claim is, that this shit's going on all over this fucking place. That there are a bunch of conversations about it, and that they've highlighted a few. So they go to the owner. They go directly to the owner, or the person in charge, the head admin, I don't fucking know, of Reset Era, Serium. And uh, they have a discussion. They start a discussion saying, hey, I found some weird shit on, you know, a Discord with all these fucking users and mods and all these other people. <laughs> I've got a bit of a fucking problem with it. Maybe you should take a look. And uh, Sirium, you know, says, "Okay, can you give me a, can you give me a quick summary for now? What what exactly is going on?" So they start explaining, "Hey, this Discord server has a lot of weird uh, discussions going on. A lot of the really popular users, like so and so, are in there, and they're talking about like age of consent and pedos and lollies and." How young would you go? And, you know, just weird shit like that. Uh, Sarium says, oh, that sounds terrible if this is happening. Uh, you know, report it to Discord. If it's something criminal, go to the authorities. Now, uh, they respond, it's not the problem, and I, uh, I doubt it's something criminal. It's more like uh, Zhu Jax knows and could give two shits about it. He and Jaw Muncher, Emily, Matt, uh, who also participate in this Discord, know these members are hard on pedos, and still, not a single one of them took action against them. Or raise their voice against them. How is it they can let those people be an active member of Reset Era and not notify people about these discussions? Uh, to which the the owner says, "Well, they're a very they're a very busy person, and I doubt he checks the server very often." Uh, they respond, "He knows. Like sometimes he replies right after him. The pedo post right after are under his nose." So there's a back and forth between uh, this user. And the uh, f uh, forum owner, I guess, uh, they start sending them copies of the same screen caps they'd posted in this thread. And it all culminates. Let me go down here a little bit. Oh, where are we? This is a long back and forth between them. I'm trying to sum it up quickly. Okay. Uh, and it all culminates with them being banned and blocked. If you think those subjects mean less to me, you're wrong. But I'm going to be honest and clear. Accusing members of being pedos is a very serious... A very serious accusation. Wow, yeah. Claiming shit, you know, claiming somebody's a pedo is a very serious accusation. 
That's that's what they're saying. Very fucking serious accusation. Huh. Really. Very serious accusation. Good to know. Good to know, asshole. Uh, and something we, uh, you know, we take very seriously. It calls for a <laughs> commensurate level of evidence. And I do not believe that you have shown that. I feel this is, in fact, about your ban. And therefore, I'm very uncomfortable with this conversation. So, they go to management. Management says, not really interested. Don't give her, don't really give a shit. I don't see a problem. I think you're over overreacting. Not interested. And then bans them. They're banned off the Discord. They're banned all over the place. They're done. They're gone. Get the fuck out of here. You're not, you're not welcome at our progressive little uh, uh, fucking hive. You're, you're thinking outside the box. We can't allow that. Now, this is where it starts to get funny. Because they, they drop all this shit. They drop it all. You know, they, they start posting more screen caps to show, yeah, these numbers match up. It's really that person in the Discord I'm talking to. I'm not making that up. Uh, these are the conversations that we're having. And once they do this, a couple of things happen. Uh, one, NeoGAF laughs about it. Evil Lore laughs about it. Why wouldn't they? They've just been through the ringer. They've been called uh, terrible, horrible, sexist bigots by these fucks before they went off to, to start their own to start their own goddamn uh, forum to compete with NeoGAF. And one of the more interesting things is damage control started. People started showing up in the thread to try to downplay it and act like, this isn't a big deal, you're totally misinformed, nothing's going on. But the people doing the damage control, it turns out, are relatives of the people that run the fucking forum. Evil Lore called this one. I don't even think anybody would have known if he particularly hadn't said this. <laughs> uh, given that your sister was one of the Reset Era's founding mods, uh, we could presume you're all in deep with them. Hence the pathetic damage control on display here. <laughs> imagine, imagine somebody starts a fucking thread about your shitty web forum and some of the creepy shit going on in your Discord. <laughs> and you're such a pussy, you send your little sister to deal with it. <laughs> you send your fucking sibling to go do damage control on another forum that's laughing at you and laughing about how stupid and goofy this shit is and really enjoying watching you hypocrites be kind of put it into an uncomfortable position <laughs> but they send their they send their little sister on in but even more than that if you tried to talk about this really over the last 24 hours in a, a, a just a host of different places that conversation was immediately shut down you weren't allowed to do it if you went on to uh the video game board on 4chan threads are getting pruned if you tried to talk on our gaming or our kotaku in action threads are removed outright i can't figure that out uh, damage. These are two threads that were put up on Kotaku in action talking about this. You'll notice the upvoted rate. Uh, the Redditors love to upvote. They're addicted to that shit. 94% upvoted. 89% upvoted. All the shit removed. Removed violation of rules 273498576. Just every goddamn rule you can think of. Delete the thread. Remove the information. Conversation closed. <laughs> I talked. Some guy messaged me and explained... Oh, you don't understand. Um, if you want to post about something like this on Kotaku in action, you have to blur out all the names of people involved. That's the rule now. We can't have any screenshots from any public forum, any public account, any Discord server, anything, without unblurred names. That's not allowed anymore. I find that, to, I'm a bit incredulous about that claim, because every thread on that fucking place would look like this. Hey guys, did you hear the near? Did you hear the news about the guy that just admitted uh, he murdered his girlfriend? Well, here's the screen cap. I can't, I can't tell you what their name is. They're not a public figure, and I can't show you any of the people interacting with this because, again, they're they're not public figures. Breaking hot video game news from the authoritative source at Kotaku in action, where we redact information and give the fucking deep state a run for their money with how much shit we remove. So, uh, yeah, uh, doubting it a little bit. A little bit incredulous that that's really how it works there. I bet if you were to go look at some of the threads right now, you're going to see Twitter screen caps and forum posts without any names blurred. But this particular subject, not allowed to be talked about. <laughs> you got to pull it down. That's not just Kotaku in action. That's our gaming. Other fucking places, too. Uh, let me 
check on chat here to make sure everything's going well. It's really weird not being able to uh, run this. I, actually, you know what? Maybe I can. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong spot. Is there a way to pop out chat? Because if I could do that, I wouldn't have to go back and look at this shit. That's a lot of fucking gifts, chat. Are you enjoying your ability to put up dancing puddings? I don't know how much of a time delay there is on this stream either. Get a second monitor. That would require technical abilities. I don't know how to do that shit. Oh, let me, let me pull. I had a few other things too to pull up for this shit show. Oh, where are we here? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. That's, that's where we'll go next. We'll go to that next. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. That'll work. All right, just uh, one moment. I have to find the exact... The and This is 28 pages now that NeoGAF has hit with this particular subject. But of course, uh, you know, given the uh, the sensitivity of the information, uh, some people got upset with uh, our, our little uh, leaker putting out this public information. Now, you'll notice that when they initially put this up, Reset Era had no public response. Nothing from management, nothing from the users. Everybody just kind of pretended it didn't happen. If you tried to contact any of these people on Twitter or on any of their social media, they'd completely ignore you. You'd be blocked, you'd be muted, and nobody would be listening to anything that you had to say. Just no response. That is except for our intrepid little, our intrepid little uh, whistleblower. Oh, you know what, actually, I know, where I, I, I know where it's been saved. There we go. Our little whistleblower did receive some responses from the people involved, uh, and they weren't super friendly. <laughs> go, go figure. Uh, people weren't super thrilled about uh, about what's going on. Started to get some law th uh, lawsuit threats. And you know you've reached a really good point in a discussion when people are threatening to sue you <laughs> for the shit you're posting. Uh, so here's the uh, response that Sea Lion D Skies got. Oh, let me make sure this is the right one. Uh, sorry, chat, just relax for a moment. Uh, nope, no, that is not the right one. Oh, come on, where is my lawsuit threat? Uh, incidentally, the person that threatened the lawsuit against them is the same person that introduced them to the server. That, that exact same person? Yeah, that's the one. The Reset Era members showed up on the forum, they complained. They said, uh, don't, don't, uh, you know, don't slander us. It's very upsetting when you, when you say these mean things. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Here we go. Uh, this was the response from uh, Celine. Uh, once the thread started to gain, or gain traction, once the information started to kind of circulate around. Uh, I think there we are. Yep. Can I zoom in on this a little bit here? Uh, I think so. Or not. Or not. Ah, there we go. I've just been contacted by Lord Kano. Kano in the screen cap and Lord Kano on Reset Era. He's pissed I talked about this. Called me a crazy woman with mental health issues and threatened me with one of the threatened me that one of them was going to sue me for public slender if I released more stuff. He probably thinks I'm afraid. I'm not. Of course, he didn't make a single comment on the pedo stuff. So the first response Celine gets, the first response to really any of this, aside from a few family members showing up to damage control, are lawsuits. They, they took it right to the next level. Got to jump in with those lawsuits. Got to make sure people understand not to fuck with us when we're having our discussion about age of consent or we'll sue the shit out of you. Oof. Not, uh, not looking the best there. Well, let, me, let me get us to where I need to be here. One second. Because the responses started coming a little more rapid fire from, the, from this point onward. Because Lord Kano uh, decides, hey, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I'm going to show up. I'm going to have some conversations with these people. Doesn't work out well for him. Starts threatening lawsuits. People talking about uh, how this is this is going to be a bad day. It's going to be a bad day for Celine. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> these fucking people. How it is you can build a forum that is known for being the shittiest place on the internet, is known for bitching about every little thing that's found offensive, I, I, you could see it with Cyberpunk 2077. They wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. Even, oh, God, what's her name? I think I still have this up here. Uh, yep. 
this chick. They were so fucking mad that people were drawing fan art. They were so upset that people were drawing pictures of this particular person. Very mad about it. Until they went on their Twitter themselves and said, hey, I really love it. Thank you. Thank you, everybody that drew fan art of me. Uh, it makes me feel really good. <laughs> and then they had discussions about how they were brainwashed. Akumi is crazy. How could she say that? She must be under the, the influence of the uh, all-knowing, all-powerful patriarchy to, like, d dumb little anime drawings of herself. Clearly, she doesn't understand the sexism that's involved at the heart of this issue. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. When you look at this kind of sequence of events, you have a person show up, they claim they have a bunch of leaks from a Discord. That Discord's full of power users and moderators. They're discussing things within that Discord that would get them banned and persecuted on the forum itself. They bring this to the leadership, to the fucking owner of the website. The owner doesn't care. They ban this person's account. They're banned from the Discord. Everybody blocks them, won't talk to them. They put the information out there. It begins to circulate. Now all of a sudden we get threats of lawsuits. We're going to sue the shit out of you if you don't stop fucking with us. I don't know. To me that feels like there's a lot of smoke. You got family members showing up to damage control. You got people with the same account names on Reset Arrow suddenly showing up on NeoGAF saying, you guys are overreacting. Nothing's going on here. <laughs> they're, they're one step away from sending cease and desist letters over fucking Discord leaks. This fucking place. Okay, I think I found the Lord Kano shed. He popped up just just not that long ago. I I, I want to try to keep the chronology as best I can. I, I think, you know, I brought it up to a current level. Uh, the thing that happens next, as far as the story goes, are the people that you see within those Discord screen caps that uh, Celine put up on NeoGAF, uh, they decide to start changing their usernames. That's the first thing they attempt. It's like a game of musical chairs. Okay, all these screen caps with us discussing or discussing subjects that could could get us into some hot water. We're we're gonna change our screen names, uh, so nobody can find those com or comments anymore, or they get confused, or whatever. Uh, that doesn't work because instantly people notice that they do this, and after that happens, after the threat of a lawsuit that doesn't really make anybody take anything down, after trying to switch usernames, but everybody notices that's when uh some of these people start showing up on neogaf to discuss this and the first one really that did it uh was lord kano so i'm going to pull up his post and we can take a look at uh, what they have to say and you can tell me what your your honest take on this particular thing is <laughs> because i just love watching idiots run around in a fucking circle and it feels to me like there's a whole gaggle of fucking idiots at this particular forum that don't know how to react to this and are really doing I mean, they're, they're doing everything the opposite of good. Like, their reaction and how they're trying to fight back against this is just making it bigger. You can't ban discussion about it. You can't threaten lawsuits about it. You can't try to hide your username. Like, why are you doing that? <laughs> if, if you didn't do anything, if this is all out of context, if these aren't that bad and uh, people don't understand what you're discussing, why are you trying to change your username? Why are you deleting posts and trying to hide? Why are you blocking everyone? I mean, you may not be guilty, bro, but that looks guilty as shit. All right, so let me let me pull up Lord Kano. Hopefully, I don't know, chat. Are you liking this story? I'm I'm a little off balance streaming on DLive. I don't, I you know, old people like me, we get really fucked up when you take away the comfort of the things that we're used to. I'm in a strange new land. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to cope with it. Okay, good. They're liking it. All right. Just as an aside, anybody watch uh, Mr. David Stay and State of Mind? You know, he's doing a regular show now on Friday evenings at 7.30 p.m. Central. So that'd be 8.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern. Uh, crazy shit. Good stuff. David puts on a good show. Uh, that would be Mandar from Photon actually set up his own web or website his own YouTube page is now doing his own streams I'm plugging the shit out of that I don't ever really plug people but <laughs> I enjoy watching it 
So I, I don't know why he only chose to do it on Fridays, but man, whatever. I, I guess that means he'll have a lot of material for his two-hour episodes every week. Let the darkness grow. I, I, I have to admit, I do like all the gifts. Is there a limit to that? I mean, is there a limit to how much of the shit they'll let us put up? Because it's much better than it was over at Streamy, at least with uh, posting and chat like this. Over on Streamy, it was a real pain in the ass to get, uh, you know, whatever kind of animated image you wanted up. It was always small or off kilter. It had to be a certain little squished size. Over here, at least, it's nice and big. And people can't really compete. They can't really, you can't spam a chat that's spamming you, which is a nice fucking feature. Just nothing. I wonder what they'll let you put up. I haven't really even read the terms of service as far as what GIFs you're used or allowed to use, what animated images are over the line, but I think we should be good. I've tried to segregate us from the majority of the website. I put on the little uh, age restriction thing, so we shouldn't show up on the front page. We should be hidden uh, and left to our own devices to be uh, retards over here by ourselves, which I think is the way we kind of want to do it. to get some nice musical background shit going here. Fill in those empty moments. Okay, I've got Lord Kano ready to go. Uh, move that out of the way. There we go. So let's look at his first response. Again, this is after he tried changing his username. After he threatened to sue people. This is the first thing he shows up on NeoGAF saying. Uh, this is yesterday afternoon. Lord Kano. Hello, everyone. It's been a long time since I posted on GAF, but now I'm here in an attempt to clear my name. I'm not a native English speaker, so sorry for the few mistakes. I thought long about this, too. And despite being told that it would be better just not to engage in conversation, I have hopes that people here will understand my arguments in good faith. I will not talk in names of others but only mine, because I'm a victim. <laughs> I'm a victim of misinterpretation. I'm not here representing anyone else but myself. The server which I was a part of was made to discuss video game sales numbers. It's what fueled the conversations most of the time. Most of the time meaning when we weren't discussing fucking uh, underage girls, apparently. It's not affiliated to ERA, but user-made. It was not a server made for prominent members to make discussion with the staff. It's all there is to it. The reason why you may recognize some popular names is because they're all sales related. It was a big place to discuss video game sales, be it uh, Famitsu numbers, NPD, Media Create, PAL charts, etc. We never had any input and any kind of moderation in or issues. Most of the time, we actually disagreed with the moderation and a lot of us, including myself, got banned multiple times. I even considered going back to GAF at one point. The reason our server was private is because we didn't want any console warring in it. Some discussions went off topic. Notably, when it concerned moderation, as we often disagreed on it, and one of those is screen capped in the OP. There was a threat about GTA 5 and rape was made, uh, which caused many bans of ERA members. From that point, we discussed legal perspectives and legal dispositions regulating that, <laughs> those matters. That's all there was to it. We discussed the difference between the age where you become a legal adult and the age of consent, which I mixed in the course of the discussion, because as I said, I'm not a native English speaker and definitely not well versed in that field. That's a that's a smooth recovery, Kano. <laughs> hey, look at all this shit I wrote in English. I don't really understand English that well. Okay, uh, my mistakey. No speaky English, officer. As for the threats OP claims she got, I'm deeply sorry about the aggressive tone I may have conveyed. I just went out of school when someone linked me that thread and I was immediately filled with anger that someone I once considered a friend, and of which I thought it was reciprocal, accused me of this sort. I sent a Discord DM, the one OP screen capped asking what the hell was going on and why she would do that. It ended abruptly, as I was angered and saddened at the situation. I want to be precise, I didn't threaten anyone of legal actions. My last sentence was very much made of worries that OP, knowing her difficult situation, could be put in danger if someone took all of it very seriously and decided to sue her for defamation. 
I apologize to the OP if I came across as threatening, but that wasn't my intent. What a kind heart. You guys, you don't understand. All right, when we're talking about banging those chicks, I, me no speaky English, all right? Me no speaky English. You can't get mad at me. And when I said, we're going to sue the fuck out of you, that, again, me no speak English. I just was trying to warn her. I wasn't trying to scare the OP. When I said, you're going to be sued into poverty, I just, that was a heads up. Like, hey, man, people are fucking crazy. <laughs> you should, hey, you should look out for yourself, bro. Wink, wink. All right, that's not a threat. That's a nice, friendly warning. For the Luigi blood post, I believe he already explained his situation which was tied to me merely because I was talking about the Metal Gear Solid 1 French Club, or French Dub. As for my recent era name changes, it was in hope that people would just forget about me. I didn't want to... <laughs> wow. I didn't want to come here because I don't like the attention. It's, uh, I'm no one important, just a rando like anyone else here. I'm not affiliated with era or anyone else. I was just spending my time on a Discord server talking about game sales and anything that was discussing in the general chat. I never expected that anyone could have interpreted my post like that. I'm not a pedophile, nor was I ever interested in underage people. I'm still at university. My part of the situation is a big er, misinterpretation, and I really want to prove it. I've already cut ties with the server, and the people this thread rightfully pointed out as potentially very suspicious once their Twitter, er, Twitter accounts were digged out. And with that... Uh-oh. Oh, let's see here. Somebody said the stream went down. I'll have to check. One second, chat. Am I back or am I dead? I don't know, chat. You got to tell me. We've run into our first problem. Have I been taken out? <laughs> the reset Eric people got me. Am I, am I dead? Is it over? Is it done? Uh, hold on. Let me check on the uh, separate computer here. See if it's... See if it went to shit or not. Oh, you got to tell me, Chad. Am I completely offline or are we back? All right, it looks like I'm back online. But I, I don't know what you missed now. I don't know how much you missed. I, I don't want to re <laughs> reread Kano's bullshit again. So I'll just recap it. Kano shows up and he says, this is his fucking response. One, me no speaking English. Two, you're totally not getting it. I wasn't threatening to sue you. I was just giving you a fair heads up because you're my buddy and I don't want to see you get hurt. And then uh, to cap it all off, as they explain to everybody that this is a giant misunderstanding and misinterpretation, uh, they refer to the discussions and the content being discussed as pedophile content. I mean, if you're going to go to somebody and say, you're misunderstanding, we're not talking about pedophilia. And then the next paragraph referred to it as pedophile content you kind of shot yourself in the foot a little bit. So uh, that kind of <laughs> brings us up to speed on Kano's brilliant fucking response. Uh, again, I don't know how much you guys missed. Hopefully that brings us up to where we should be. Uh, Kano finishes it off with saying, I'm no different than any of you. I'm just a random internet user fanboying over some games and ranting about others. I really want to clear out my name. Uh, I understand why you people would pursue people suspected of diving into pedophilia and other illegal fields, but I'm not really one of those people. I hope this was enough of a statement uh, to at least testify of my honesty. Uh, not not getting a ton of positive responses from from Neo Gaffers. I'll show you a few of them uh, just to give you the the general consensus of what people were thinking when they read this. <laughs> uh, lots of bullshits. Lots of lots and lots of bullshits. People weren't really buying Kano's response. Uh, okay, let me let me bring us up to the to the next event. Kano starts interacting with people and saying, "No, you don't get it. You're misunderstanding." Uh, and people start to acquiesce a little bit. They start to feel a little bit bad for Kano. They're like, "Okay, all right, maybe maybe you really uh, were in a bizarre situation. You were unaware of these conversations that were going on. Um, it's all it's all just a big it's a big big misunderstanding." It looks guilty as shit, you know, you changing your username and then uh, threatening to sue people uh, <laughs> and trying to blame it off on, you know, I'm reading all this motherfucker's posts and I don't see him having any trouble with English. Like, I, that's all I'm seeing. 
very well, well, well spelled out, well punctuated, uh, good grammar, not noticing a lot of English problems uh, with this particular person trying to tell me, no, you know, speak English. Uh, talking about leaving the Discord server, I want to get to the next part because it's funny. Uh, because basically, they get called out on more bullshit, uh, kind of, again, from the OP of this particular thread. Oh, I should have. I should have. I, I hate when this goes on. Uh, uh, Boomer Jim fucking it up. One second, chat. I have to get past a, <laughs> a couple a couple of... Oh, well, I think we've got one here. Uh, okay, Luigi Blood shows up. Yeah, so different people from uh, this particular thing show up. Lord Kano keeps continuing on talking about how pedophilia is bad. And again, it's all uh, just a terrible misunderstanding. No threats were made. Nothing bad happened. And now I'm looking for uh, for her response because uh, she dropped some shit on him that kind of shuts him up. I know. I hope the oh boy anticipation again. You know, while I take a minute to look for this, I'm just gonna just put that back up on screen. <laughs> These are the people that are asking uh, you to give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, this is a particular forum. This is a group of individuals that just hey, it's a misunderstanding, man. Why do you got to persecute us? <laughs> you, you don't get it. You got to calm down a little bit. Right, let's not get hot-headed about these things. Just brilliant. I love I love when shit like this happens. I love I love when a group like that goes out and just wreaks havoc on everybody uh, because they've got the moral high ground, and then instantly it comes to bite them in the ass. Uh, it's always entertaining. Okay, here I here's the here's the thread or here's the post that I was looking for. Uh, just. Uh, here's Celine's response. I'm up for 12 hours of sleep, but it seems I have a lot of reading to do, so excuse me if I proceed to re, uh, proceed instead of reacting for the moment. Funny to see how they waited for me to go to sleep before reacting and posting some communications on the matters. Just as a general warning for Reset Era staff and the members who are trying to say I frame things out of context, be very careful in the way you word your defenses. That's my first and last fair warning about this. I understand you're panicking right now because this thread has more views than the members registered on your forum. But again, be careful. So it turns out our OP, the reason they're saying that is because they have more screen caps. They have more, <laughs> they have more information. You know, Kano, again, uh, he, he went on about how he's innocent, misunderstanding, all that shit. Uh, let's see where, where they drop it. No, no, it should be the next one. I should have been more prepared. Oh, boy. It's a dirty D live stream. Nothing's fucking ready to go. Everything's unprofessional. Oh, God, Gator, where are you? I need you to run this for me. Oh, uh, did the post get removed? I hope not. I'm trying to present a nice little story here. It'd be very upsetting if it suddenly disappeared on me. Everybody talking about the THQ thing. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I know what I'll play while I do this. I'm going to let this play again. Because this was stupid to make, but I put effort into it for a moment, so... I'll let that play for a second while I dig this up. Okay, here's the post I was looking for. Now remember, Kano was trying to play it off like, hey, I was just uh, a user in the general discussion of the sales forum. That's that's all I was. Big misunderstanding. I just hung out there with other people. Uh, here's where they go with this. Uh, just a little element I forgot to mention. Lord Kano was one of the few, uh, three question mark, moderators on this Discord. He wasn't just a random user. Uh, and this is a conversation in French, which they translate. But it looks like Kano might might have been lying a little bit. So when you're looking at damage control, when you're looking at people reacting to a situation, like this dude's already run through about four, four or five different phases. Uh, one, it's misunderstood. Two, I don't speak English. Three, I'm not really... Well, three, I'll threaten you and then pretend I didn't threaten you. 
Uh, four, I'm going to try to change my username so people can't find me. And then to cap it off, just straight out lying when he gives his side of the story. Just a regular user there. Oh, oh no, wait, what did I say user? I meant I'm a moderator. I'm one of the people in charge of the fucking Discord. It's a, you got a little bit of a problem there. You can't go on telling me about how this is all a misunderstanding and people weren't really, you know, paying attention. What did he refer to it as? P or pedophile content from other people that he was disgusted by? You're a moderator there. So you would be aware of the pedophile content, which you let go on because <laughs> you didn't give a shit. You're not sorry because you're sorry. You're sorry because you got caught. That's what you're upset about. Holy shit, these people, man. <laughs> I will say they've got some fantastic image edits on this particular thread. I've got to give, <laughs> I've got to give some fucking uh, uh, credit uh, to the work they're doing. So I think that brings us fairly close to up to date. You know, if I, again, I'll sum it up one last time for anybody just joining or somebody that wants a quick, uh, you know, a, a quick summation. User shows up on NeoGAF. They drop a bunch of Discord uh, images from conversations taking place there. A lot of the people involved are power users on Reset Era. Uh, some of the people uh, have relationships to the mods and admins. A lot of known people involved in this. A lot of people that had positions of powers known in this. Uh, now, it's claimed to be a sales chat discord, uh, but turns out they're talking about age of consent in different states, talking about fucking people from the age of 12 to 18, and all of this shit. When the information is released, the person that released it goes to talk to the owner of Reset Era and gets banned for it. When they start to talk about it more publicly, everybody starts blocking them. If you bring it up to any of these users, you get blocked on social media. If you try to make a thread about it on Reset Era, it gets removed immediately. If you talk about it in a post in an unrelated thread, you get banned. All over the place, these threads are getting taken down because you're not allowed to discuss it for some bizarre reason. Users start changing their name to try to hide from this. When that doesn't work, they start threatening to sue people. When that doesn't work, they show up and just fucking lie. <laughs> it's me no speaking English. Me just showed up last week. Me no understand. And that's where we are right now. That's, that's where you find yourself. The fucking harbingers of justice. The moral, upright, virtuous people that have come to tell us lowly, disgusting, anime-loving, video game fanatics how wrong we are to, to like video games, uh, how wrong we are to appreciate a nice set of tits on, on a fucking fighting game character. You know, the people that want to chastise us for enjoying a hobby. Uh, the people that want to attack companies. Attack companies in really egregious, disgusting ways because they're upset uh, that they're not bending the fucking knee. These people, turns out, aren't as clean as they like to pretend they are. Uh, they've got some of their own shit hidden in the closet that uh, ownership and uh, moderators and admins are well aware of. And they just don't care because those people are special. And they bring a little air of prestige to Reset Era. You know, it's the same problem that happens on almost any single forum that exists. You will get a subsect of users who will have their own following and their own base behind them. And you can't get rid of them. You have to treat them well. And they help to set the agenda. This also happens with people that it, it just it's one of the inherent problems with a forum. You'll find it anywhere you go. But this is the special chosen few. Now, this is a forum where industry insiders go to. Uh, people in, uh, that are just connected to the industry in a host of different ways, people that drop leaks about events that are coming up, of course they want to delete everything. Of course they're going to change their fucking usernames. Of course they're not going to publicly address it. Of course they're going to call her crazy and threaten to sue her to shut her up. Because it would be really shitty for all those industry insiders and all those people with the uh, following, the chosen few, to now be uh, <laughs> fucking associated with this shit. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know uh, what the next uh, event will be uh, uh, as this kind of plays itself out. But it's crazy to me that you are kind of prohibited from talking about it anywhere outside of fucking NeoGAF and Kiwi Farms. It, almost like anywhere else, you can't, you can't discuss it. It's not allowed. Am I crazy, chat? Do you find, I find that very bizarre. <laughs> Like, 
for something that's a non-issue, which the people involved in this have claimed from the start, non-issue, misinterpretation, misunderstanding. You guys don't understand. You're just, <laughs> you're, you're overreacting to, it's a nothing burger. Well, for a fucking nothing burger, there's sure a lot of, uh, you know, damage control going on. Relatives showing up to defend you. Uh, people hiding shit, deleting shit, banning shit, removing shit, muting shit. It's a, it's a lot of fucking action and response for an event that doesn't have anything behind it or to it. Now, I'm not a fucking mind reader. I'm not Nostradamus either. I don't know the future. This could be some crazy troll uh, that's been uh, planned out months in advance. I don't fucking know. But given the fact that people have shown up to defend themselves and talk about it and they didn't dispute uh, the Discord drop itself, uh, it would lead me to believe that it it's reasonable to assume that the pictures presented are real and the people that were said to be involved are legitimately involved. <laughs> and, you know, it comes down to being able to enjoy laughing at these fucking idiots. Because they deserve it. Because if this was any other group... You know, actually, let me put it like this. I want you to imagine uh, a video game developer has a fucking Discord for people that are on staff. And somebody, for whatever reason, gets invited in there. And, you know, in this Discord, they're talking about age of consent and who they'd fuck. And just shit like that. Do you think if Reset Era... If, if somebody started a thread on Reset Era and said, Hey, did you see these game devs talking about banging 12-year-olds? Do you think that they would be like, Nah, man, that's a misunderstanding. You need to get rid of that. Or would they try to ruin those fucking people's lives? Or would they try to destroy them? Let me pull chat up here. I feel like I'm... Uh, it feels weird not having... There we go. A lot of adult conversation going over here. <laughs> Spam it all you like. You can say whatever you like here. This isn't the oppressive land of YouTube. You're allowed to, you're allowed to say dirty words and cuss words over here. Go nuts. Just spam it. Grabbing a cigarette. Give me one second here. You know, I, I think there's like a little widget or something that I can put into this fucking OBS uh, to just display chat. So it's right on top. So I don't have to actually be looking directly at it. Oh, that's going by fast. I don't even where the I don't even know how many people how somebody in chat how many people are even watching this? Like I'm looking at the back end page of DLive, and all I see is chat on the right, and then the middle, it's got stats with no information. Forty six. Okay. So at least people are able to watch it. Thankfully. Let me, oh, that is not what I wanted. Uh, let me read these real quick. We've got just a few here, and we'll be right done with it. Uh, from HTRTU, weren't there five guys on that Discord server, Jim? I think we would. We should get Donald Trump to tweet about it. Well, I I know Sargon's probably waited with bated breath that there might be a scandal regarding video games that involves sex in some manner. We can just get that Gamergate two hashtag going. The world's going to be a better place. From No Name. Have the minimum shekel uh, possible to donate for a job done, Mr. Shenanigans. And then Orange Peco. Open the chest, Boomer. How do I open the chest? I'll open the chest. Well, you got, how do I do it? Somebody tell me how I open the fucking stupid chest. I'm, I'm scared if I hit something, I'm going to lose my ability to... All right, let's see. I don't even know where the fucking chest is. Is there a button with somebody? <laughs> this is going to be disastrous. I'm sorry, chat. Uh, just click it. Oh, I'm looking. Uh, all right. You know what? I'm going to. I'm. Uh, this is such a bad idea, but I'm going to try it. Okay. All right. So I just click it and it opens it. All right. Uh, distribute rewards. Okay. The more your viewers engage, uh, the more points it accumulates. All right. So. All right, uh, here you go. Should distribute it. Chest rewards will distribute in 30 seconds. I don't know how this fucking works. How many lemons do I have? I have 1.4k lemons. Oh boy, 
I think that translates to like a dollar fifty. I'm gonna get myself a nice soda pop with that. Maybe even a, a, a maybe even a gas station hot dog. I'm fucking here. Here comes Easy Street for Jimbo. <laughs> he's, he's lemon rich. Okay. Uh, Ninja Warrior, you congratulations. You got seven lemons. Uh, Corvi, hey, it's your lucky day. You got a four, a total of four fucking lemons. Uh, Pasquat, three lemons. Caleb LL Show, welcome to Easy Street as well. Three whole lemons. And finally, Zero Sum, uh, rounding out the top five. God, Jesus. The top five luckiest followers. 2.7 lemons. I think, <laughs> I think Zero Sum deserves a dancing pudding. 2.7 lemons. Holy shit, you can pay for college with that. <laughs> I, I don't know what the translation for lemons are. I honest to God don't. I'm sorry guys. I haven't really I haven't really looked into the lemon market. I remember ice cream from when this place used to run. I don't know what the lemon market is now. Good. All right. Uh, you want to hand with your OBS? Uh, there's a way to get chat on screen. Uh, window captured. Yeah, I, I've, I've done that before, but usually I have a some kind of weird issue with it. I probably am using an outdated version, and it's fucking up my ability to do it. Uh, yeah. Uh, other. I, I'm having to read comments from other places. Uh, from Trio Doug. Sorry, English isn't my second language, but I really want to fuck kids. Yeah, that's kind of how it comes off, isn't it? <laughs> we weren't we weren't safe. We weren't safe to talk about it there. We weren't safe. You can't bring that subject up. You'll get banned. Really? Because it seems like you get warned instead. <laughs> it seems like it seems like a warning is the problem that you're running into. Oh, no, that's not. Can I, oh wait, can I give away more? How many times can I click the chest? Oh, it won't let me do it again. I have to wait? How long do you have to wait to give out more lemons? I have to wait eight minutes before opening another chest? Really? Why? I think I've given you guys like a couple nickels worth of... <laughs> I don't, I really don't know what the trans... It's not, I'm sorry, you're not going to be... There's no such thing as lemon rich on this place. <laughs> We're all going to enjoy poverty together, guys. Welcome to the new age. Holy shit, these people. Oh, you know, where is it? You know, I in fact, I think um, Lord Kano probably would have had a better chance showing up to discuss this with everybody involved if he'd taken the Riker approach. Just been more upfront and direct about it. Not a chance. It's false is totally made up. Pure fiction. It's a total fabrication. This one was invented by a writer. But no. Had to change his username. Had to threaten lawsuits. Had to spur God a little bit. So I guess this kind of puts us into speculation mode. I mean, we listened to a little bit of Blue's Clues earlier about what we were going to do. What's that first clue? I, I, I don't know how long this can be not talked about. I'll say that right off the top. I know one person's written an article about it already. What is it? One Angry Gamer, I think. What, uh, and I think a few other people have talked about it a little bit, like Mark Kern and other people like that. But I, you can't go around trying to suppress a discussion about something. Whether this turns out to be a big nothing burger or not, you can't tell people, no, you're not allowed to talk about it, because it's the only thing they're going to want to fucking talk about. They're instantly going to want to discuss it. It's the stupidest approach. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can try changing your name and lying, but trying to suppress it outright by banning people and muting them and removing threads about it is a terrible fucking approach. Look how that worked out for <laughs> look how that worked out for Neil Gaff. Uh, when they were throwing their shit fit and they started banning people over it, you ended up with Reset Era. I can't even imagine what kind of hell spawn abomination is going to crawl itself out of the ass of these progressive cat ladies and set up next. Like, 
when the people exit us from Reset Era because they find this to be offensive, what the fuck is that forum going to look like? <laughs> what crazy shit are they going to get up to? It's like, it's like an evolution of insanity. Every time this happens and they slough off a portion of their user base to go create a more progressive forum, it gets loonier and loonier. It's going to be obese 50-year-old women rolling around in cat piss, <laughs> eating kitty litter, and talking about how offensive Destroy All Humans is and how, they're, how the people developing it should be shot. That's the end result. That's what we're going to end up with. <laughs> I don't know what the... I, I, I don't know where this is going to go, but I, I guarantee you it will be entertaining for about a week. Uh, will anything big happen from it? Probably not. But is it funny watching a bunch of, uh, you know, self-righteous assholes uh, be held to their own standard? Absolutely. These people never give anyone the benefit of the doubt. They always take uh, they, they always take people as having the worst motivations. Every game developer and publisher is just scum. Uh, everything they do in their games, they're doing it because they're sexist pigs. Uh, gamers are horrible people. Uh, they Nobody deserves the benefit of the doubt. You've got the fucking owner of Reset Era talking about, oh, we need more evidence. We need to be level-headed and moderate. Are you fucking kidding me? You guys never are. So it's amusing to me to watch this happen because now you're in a situation where you're getting shit on as you cry for moderate approaches and examination of evidence and adult conversations and you're dealing with people doing to you what you've done for the last year to everybody else. That's entertainment. <laughs> Enjoy it. You're basically getting your ass kicked by the man in the mirror. Can you really bitch about it? I, I don't know. But trying to suppress it, whatever website it happens to be, it's just going to make it bigger. It's not going to go away. It never goes away. People are going to talk about this dumb shit for the next week if you let it play out. If you try to suppress it, it's going to be a two-week or a three-week conversation. It will drive people batty. So it's a terrible approach. It's a little friendly advice. Actual friendly advice. Unlike Lord Kano, I'm not winking at you as I say, I'm not holding a knife. I'm not going to slit your throat. That's not the kind of advice I'm giving you. I'm giving you genuine advice. Just let people fucking talk about it. I, I don't know, chat. I see people saying, open the chest again. I don't think it's going to let me. Three more minutes. <clears throat> oh, boy. Cancer's taking over, folks. I can feel I can coughing my lungs up here. Uh, we'll do this. Since I've covered the bulk of this, I will wait the three minutes, and then I will give you all those delicious lemons that are hidden in this fucking treasure box. <laughs> and then, and then I, you know what? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go play Super Smash Brothers. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go play video games. Then I'm gonna come back on the internet later on tonight. I'm gonna laugh as they try to damage control this more, because these people are fucking stupid, and they just don't ever learn their lesson. And I always find it funny when people cry for a moderate approach when they don't grant anybody that same courtesy. So I guess eat shit, cat ladies. Uh, welcome to the nightmare you created, and uh, good luck with that, you stupid fucks. Oh, can you feel it? Is the excitement in the air, chat? Those lemons are coming. What are we sitting at? One minute. One more minute before I can open the chest and give you 142.2 le lemons worth. I don't. I don't. I refuse to call them linos. Uh, the lowest you know, er, denomination is lemons. So they're lemons, Chinese lemons. I don't even know how you convert them into real money. I don't even know if that's possible. Oh, boy. Here comes that Monopoly money. Uh, one more minute. All right, we're counting down those seconds, folks. Should I put on some lemon music while we wait? I mean, this is a fucking exciting moment, isn't it? All those free... Is there a lemon song, I wonder? Is there such a thing as a lemon song? Find out. Well, Led Zeppelin, but <laughs> Led Zeppelin has a fucking so lemon song? I okay. But now that would be too easy. I want to make you suffer for your lemons. 
What's the worst fucking song that I... You know what? I know what I can put on. <laughs> there you go. All right. I will give you your lemons. Is it? Is it almost time? Okay. I can give you your lemons, but you've got to listen to the lemon music. Well, the reason we're smiling is because of you, Barney. Oh. Today has been really special. Oh, it was special for me, too. Here come your lemons. Of course, every day is special when you spend it with people you love. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great Hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? <laughs> Whether it's rainy or sunny, you're all very special to me. I love you, you love me. We're best friends like friends should be. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you? Oh boy. Was that a bridge too far? Was playing Barney the bridge too far for D Live? <laughs> Is that what killed the stream? Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Can't can't play Barney. It's a Barney free zone up in here. Maybe all the Chinese lemon jokes got to him. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, D Live. But I don't know how to convert lemons into real money. I don't know what I'm giving people. Hopefully they'll forgive us. I, China's great, okay? Can I just, I love China? <laughs> All right? We love your lemons. Chinese lemons are fucking delicious. Everybody here's digging it. Okay, chat. I think we've had fun. It's not bad for a, for a, the first stream on DLive. I've got some technical issues to work out. I'll get them worked out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure a way to make it work. Uh, I'll keep an eye on this. If it gets more entertaining going forward, or if some really crazy shit drops, I'll do a follow-up stream. But you're caught up. <laughs> and you're lemon rich now. So you should enjoy that. I'm going to go play some video games. Because I'm a giant man-child. You see how that works? See, look, mornings with the man-child. It's got a ring to it, doesn't it? It's pretty fancy. Uh, let's see. Do I, have a, do I have an outro music? Well, fuck. I, I'm scared now. If I, if I play more music, is it going to just F on you? I, I don't know. It might just die. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try it. Try it one more time here. Oh, I wish I had a particular song that I want, but I don't have it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right, chat. Uh, you take it easy. Uh, I'll keep an eye on it. Like I said, if something crazier pops up, I'll play it. Otherwise, have a good night. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, I'll be streaming here primarily from now on. Hopefully I get the technic or technical issues worked out. Uh, and we can all be lemon rich together. Enjoy your weekend. And I will see you later on. Cause you got that. 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 Cause you got that I like you Cause you got that Something that I need in my life So give it to me Cause you got that Like you Cause you got that Something that I need in my life That I need So give it to me Cause you got that I like you Cause you got that Something that I need in my life So give it to me Cause you got that Like you Cause you got that Something that I need in my life Got that. Cause you got that. Uh.